So apparently there's been a delay by the government in putting the legal provisions in place for Jamaican artists and musicians to collect certain royalties since 2016. Well, zooming in to expound on this is Evan Mullings, who's the general manager of Jamaica Music Society, Jams. Morning, Evan. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hope you're well. Yeah, hi, morning. Doing well on this side. Thanks, thanks a lot, Neville. Morning, Simone. Morning, morning. Good to have you. Um, explain what I just read just now. <laughs> well, you've, you've done a great job in, 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 in putting it <laughs> up, It is what it is. Um, since 20, 2002, not even 2016, since 2002, the Jamaican government has had an obligation to put in law certain rights that were granted to artists and musicians internationally. Jamaica basically agreed internationally on the treaty to give its produce, sorry, its performers, its performers these particular rights, the right for them to earn, the right for them to earn whenever the music that they are part of is played on air or in public spaces, so on radio, TV, cable, in the clubs, the hotels, the bars, etc. They should be able to earn when songs that they are part of are played in, at, from those sources. However, since 2002, when that treaty came into force, Jamaica has failed to basically update its copyright laws to grant our performers those particular rights. Whereas internationally, almost in every other country that you can speak of, they have already done so, including our Caribbean partners. They have already updated their laws. So Jamaican musicians, the artists, the vocalists, the musicians, the players of instruments, they're actually all behind their international um, colleagues right now in terms of their ability to earn um, when their songs are played. So the songs get played, Jams collects the royalties on behalf of the artists and the publishers and so on, and then disseminates that money. Is that how it works, typically? Yeah, that's how it works. Um, we are one of two local rights management um, organizations. JCAP is the other? Right, Jams represents the producers and the performers, and JCAP represents the songwriters. Authors writers, and the publishers. And the publishers. Right. right, okay. Yes. So, so what kind of lobby, Evan, has happened? I mean, 2002, that's 19 years going. That's, I mean... A lot of place, Simon. A lot of lobbying took place, and leading up to 2015, because the Copyright Act was actually updated in, in 2015. So in 2015, the Act should have also, at that time of updating it, should have also included these particular provisions. So leading up to 2015, a lot of lobbying, a lot of advocacy took place, and the provisions were agreed. It was agreed that these would be incorporated. So they were what we call uncontested provisions. However, um, at the last minute, it, um, those particular provisions were, were not included at the very last minute. Uh, we certainly had no control at the last minute over that. However, when it was brought to the attention, once the act had been passed without them, and we discovered that, that was then brought to the attention of the minister and, and others um, you know, who needed to know that that happened, and they agreed right away for the changes to be reincorporated. So it's really that reincorporation of those rights that we are now pushing for since 2015 going into 2016. And what has happened is that the JIPO, which is the government's arm that handles the creation of these provisions and IP laws and so forth, they have done their leg of the work in providing these provisions at a cabinet submission. That cabinet submission has then gone on since 2016 to the Attorney General's Department for them to know, you know, make their input and then advance the process so that it gets into Parliament and then becomes part of the law. But since 2016, it has been stuck at the Attorney General's Department. Okay. Um, Evan, going back to what Simone just said, is it, and forgive my ignorance here, but is it that they didn't get their money in a timely fashion or they will not get the money at all? No, they won't get the money at all. The, the, the provisions are not in law. It's not a part of the law as yet. So there's no, we, there's no money collected, for instance, in Jamaica, sitting and waiting. The law first has to be passed. It has to be in the law first. So it's an entitlement level. It's an entitlement based on what we agreed to do internationally with our international partners to give our performers these particular No, rights. I understand that, you know, but if for some reason in my mind, I was thinking that, all right, the money was collected, but because of the law, you just can't disseminate the money, no, but that's no, not no, what you no. said. 
Money wasn't collected at all. In Jamaica, we are not able to collect a dollar. We cannot give a license to RJR, for instance, or TVJ on behalf of performers because Bill Wright, that law doesn't exist for us to act on that law. Internationally, however, internationally, in the U.S. and other territories, they, in, they basically pass those laws. And so they're able to collect these royalties in those territories. And so money, yes, is sitting down in those countries for Jamaican performers that we cannot bring home to pass on to those performers. So yes, you are right. In foreign territories, royalties are sitting there right now for Jamaican performers. But we cannot do that act, bring that home on their behalf. And in Jamaica, we cannot collect a dollar on their behalf because the right doesn't exist. So Evan, let me ask you. I mean, oh. I, I used to work in radio. We had to do music sheets every yes. time we did a show. So the, the record of the music being played ought to be there. So why can it not retroactively be applied once the law is put into place? Well, we, we're not talking about the retroactivity as, as yet because the law needs to pass. If and when the law does get passed, or when it does get passed, then it depends on whether or not the law is set to be retroactive at that time because it doesn't have to be set to be retroactive. So that's another part of the whole issue. But wouldn't... But when that does happen, we would then have to then go back to you know, some of the broadcasts and so forth and say, well, the law is now in place and um, you, know, you will now need to account for royalties for a particular period. Right. Um, right. right. But that's another, wow. geez, that's a whole other kettle of fish right there. And it's plenty of money we're talking about also, don't uh, Absolutely. Um, there, are, there are hundreds, there are dozens of countries internationally level that are part of this whole arrangement, international arrangement. And from our interaction with them, they have advised us that their art is there for, for a lot of our Jamaican performance. Okay. In particular, the U.S., there, there could be millions of dollars mm -hmm. for all the Jamaican performance. Mm -hmm. well, and after these folks live off their royalties, yep. so it's a serious, what needs, serious issue. Yeah, what needs to happen? What needs to happen? What the government must do? What, what, what is the hold-up? Well, the Attorney General's Department needs to act. That department needs to, to look at the provisions that have been provided by, by the cabinet submission provided by JIPO and the Ministry of Commerce, look at it, make whatever recommendation that it needs to make, and pass it on, advance the process so that the bill can get to parliament, so that the parliament can pass the, the laws into, make them into law. Okay. And once that happens, then we'll be able to do our work. So the Attorney General's Department is where the, 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 the sticking hold point is. is fine. The whole up is right now. Wow. Unreal, unreal. But um, thanks, thanks for sharing that with us. Hopefully, who needs to hear, mm -hmm. just heard, mm -hmm. and, and things will happen. Thanks, everyone. Stay mm -hmm. safe, and God bless you. You too. Take care. Thanks a lot. All right, Evan Mullings, General Manager of Jamaica Music Society, otherwise known as JAMS. Up next, we speak to a Jamaican who has landed.